Welcome back to the channel. We're back in the garage prepping the car for the 2023 MG Car Club Speed Championship. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be having a look at the Armstrong dampers. These are the front dampers. I've taken these off the car now. Uh, they've been on a year. They, uh, they went on the car as supposedly uprated dampers, uh, but I've always been intrigued by these things. So what I want to do here is try and get the front end a little bit stiffer. So I'm going to be taking the oil out of these, uh, putting in some 30 weight oil to replace that, seeing what effect that has on the damping. My plan for next year then is to stiffen up the front end of the car and make the back end a little bit softer and hope that'll deal with some of the oversteer that I've got uh, and to make the car a little bit more speedier through the corners. An Armstrong damper then is a relatively simple affair. You've got the lever here against it with its pivot point and then you've got two chambers. So as the arm goes up and down, the pistons inside these chambers move the oil from one to the other and that goes through a valve which is located here to control the flow of oil. That flow of oil control gives it its damping effect. So to get the oil out, I'm going to have to undo this cap here and I'm also going to undo this one here. Pump the damper up and down and we should get all that oil out. So for some strange reason, these seem to be different threads. This seems to be metric, so 13 millimeters here, whereas this one is seven eighths. pumping it backwards and forwards all the oils come out something to note here is looks like there's a couple of washers come out here as well look like shims actually um, so they could be spacing shims for the valve so uh, important to put those aside and make sure they go back in uh, when we do the rebuild So that's one taken apart, now we do the other one. Well, I have to say that was a lot easier than I thought. So uh, now we can inspect the valves. Looking at these valves then, they are quite a straightforward design. So uh, here we've got a spring and some shims and a plunger that goes into this main body. And it looks as if as you operate the lever, the oil will go through this hole here, come out of the hole here where the plunger is and it would apply force against that spring so it does make sense that putting a shim in there and looking closely at this spring it does look like it's been filed square as well uh, would actually make it higher rated so therefore stronger and therefore increase the damping uh, looking at the inside moves the other way this shaft moves back into the main body and is damped by this spring here. So therefore giving you that rebound damping the other way. It does actually make sense then that this is quite an easy do-it-yourself modification to flatten these springs, add the shims onto the piston here to therefore preload this spring 
potentially making the damping higher. So if you're feeling brave enough, that's something that you could probably have a go at doing yourself. Um, but for this, it does look like it has been modified and uprated already. So what I'm going to be doing is quite simply putting this back together again and then refilling the damper with brand new 30 weight oil uh, and seeing what effect that has on the damping. If I'm not happy with that, then I might come back to this and have another look and see if I can increase the damping rate. So this is what I'm going to put in. Basically straight 30 weight motor oil. It's the same oil I actually used to run the engine in. So uh, let's see what effect it has in the dampers, eh? Uh, before everybody screams, uh, doing a bit of research as well, it does look like motorcycle fork oil is, is also highly recommended for this. Um, but this is what I happen to have in the garage, so this is what I'm going with. So I've got as much oil as I can into the valve and I put the valve back in and now I'm going to fill through this little hole here. So it's the day after the day before now and I've come into the garage uh, having had the damper left overnight and all of a sudden now it was did have a little bit of air in it but now it's absolutely solid and damping exactly as it should and I can only even think that what's happened overnight is all the little air bubbles in the oil have crept up to this cylinder up at the top and are now based here. So what I've done is undo this screw and top this up so I know this is full and all of the air is out of that system and now I've got a good strong uprated damper. So the tip here is if you're frustrated with air bubbles in your damper as you're putting the oil back in go and have a beer, go and have a cup of tea, go and have a good sleep and come and check it in the morning. So that's one ready to go back on the car let's get at the other one. Moving the lever arm back and forth, you can see the bubbles coming up through this small hole, which I'm putting the oil into. So I think this is definitely a case of going slow, adding the oil, operating the lever, letting the air rise to the top, and keep repeating that over and over until you get all the oil out of the system. Last job to do then is to put the screw back in now that the cylinder has been filled back up again, uh, we've left it for a while, allowed the air to drain up, topped it up, left it for a while, topped it up and got it to a point where the lever is firm. There's no obvious sign of any air bubbles and clearly damps without any resistance. So that's good to go back on the car. A fairly easy job then replacing the oil 
in these Armstrong lever arm dampers. And even if I've achieved nothing else, I know that the oil in these is clean, it's fresh, I know what rating it is, so I can start from a known entity if I want to improve the dampers or change them further. So I know I've got 30 weight oil in the front. When I take the rear dampers off, we'll do a video on the rear dampers. I'm gonna be putting 20 weight oil in the back. That's the standard weight, I believe. So should soften them from the fairly hard condition they're in at the moment uh, to get the suspension to where I want it. So I hope you found that useful, having a look at the internals of these lever arch dampers, see how easy it is to change the oil and giving you the confidence to have a go yourself. Once again then, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for all your comments and input. See you on the next video.